Jedi. I'm really living up to the name here. Jedi Squid, you're on. Hey. This is the poorly played stream. I'm playing poorly. That's for goddamn sure. Jake, he is playing excellent. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give a round a out, DJ Ennis. Oh, oh. Give a round out? I don't think I said that right. Can we get a rewind on that? Can we? Do uh, you want me to? <laughs> Hi, Jedi. Ouch. Sounds good. Sounds good to me, brother. Hey, uh, I did get the game over. We're going to continue. But how can we help you today? Hey, Garrett. I got to say right now that I've got a good amount of questions I'd like to ask you about Metal Gear. Some, yeah, a good amount. Well, I love a good amount. Uh, now I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to do what I did earlier over again without no back out. Don't hit the elevator button. Woo! All right, give it to me. What do you got? Okay, number one, have you ever played the original 2D Metal Gear? Preferably uh, not on the NES. Well, it was only available in the United States on the NES. I don't think the MSX system was released here. But I uh, did not play it on either. I played a version that they released with, a, I think, the special edition, which was the... God, what did they call them? Uh, well, whenever they released the game, I'm totally blanking on the name. It was like Metal Gear Solid 3 came out, and then it was Metal Gear Solid 3 something edition. Fuck it, I cannot remember. Snake Eater Chat. edition. No, that's <laughs> Snake Eater was just the subtitle of the game. It was called like uh, Subsistence and Sub something else. No, the chat's the there. Twin Snake Eaters. Subsistence. Subsistence. I don't know, there was two of them. Anyway, one of those got a release of uh, the original Metal Gear. And I think Metal Gear 2 was on there as well. Solid Snake is the name of that game. Love a fat man. Yeah. We do love us some Fat Man. But, uh, Thank you. yeah, I've, I've played that, that one that came on the special edition of Metal Gear 3. I did play that first Metal Gear Solid, or Metal Gear game, I should say. Excuse me. Nothing solid about it. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Yeah. We're the the version there was a version of Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy uh, Color as well that I played that was probably one of the rare uh, Metal Gear games that I have. I don't know many oh, people that have a Game Boy Color copy of, of Metal Gear Solid. I don't think there are enough good games. Well, I like the Game Boy Color a lot. I think it's cool. Yeah, do you play Yoda stories back in the Disney? Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I had a Game Boy Advance. Oh, gotcha. I've been had that Advance. Good system. Yeah. Mario Advance. Oh, yeah. Mario. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Mario. Oh, you said this is all Mario. Mario? Yeah. That's like if you're my friend Michael over at Rooster Teeth. He says Mario Brothers. That's what my father does. Hell yeah. Oh, you don't like Super Mario? In in I specifically remember. In uh, in Ghostbusters 2, uh, Janine asks uh, Lewis Tully if he wants to come over and play Super Mario Brothers. It strikes like the worst New York accent. It's great. Funny. It's, it's funny. You know, we all have fun. Uh, but how can I help you there, Jedi Squid? Uh, You're not Jedi Squid. Are you? Who am I still talking to? Yeah, it is Jedi Squid still. What's up? Question two. We're getting Take that closer again. and closer. We're getting closer and closer to Metal Gear Solid 5 release. Looking back, what were your favorite moments from the uh, trailers, and what was your overall favorite trailer? Well, my favorite moment right now is throwing a chaff grenade, but being distracted by the Skype call and the stream that I'm doing, and then not running under that security camera to grab the item right here. Instead, just having to use a second chaff grenade now, and hopefully I'll remember to run in there as soon as it goes off and not waste another one. Um... So while I concentrated and talked myself through that procedure, what uh, what was it again? My favorite moments well, from the past series? Looking back, what were your favorite moments from the various Metal Gear Solid 5 trailers and what was your overall favorite trailer? Trailers, oh gosh. Um, or, uh, my MPS favorite, 5. yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the stuff they showed for MGS5 was, you know, Ground Zero stuff, 
that it was all so intriguing we got a lot of camp omega like uh stuff in that first one and that was what we found out uh you know we got a lot of camp omega stuff and a lot of stuff that was in the hospital and uh yeah. with, with what we think is psycho manis and the man on fire and all the crazy you know hallucination shit that that we we're thinking takes place right after uh, ground zeroes because you and cause end up in the hospital uh, i think the hallucination stuff was really cool like when you really see the cool. helicopter inside of the building i think i i think that might be my answer i think that first trailer those cutscenes that they showed and snake in a trailer and looking malnourished and like the first time we had seen the fox engine it was so fucking beautiful really like that one i think maybe stands out now i will say the Mike Oakenfold, or not Oakenfold, Oldfield uh, song. Oakenfold. Oaken, Pots, Paul. You know, shouts out to Paul, but Mike, uh, uh, Mike Oldfield, I think, something like that, did that nuclear song in the second trailer. Ooh, that gets to me. The third song, yeah. by far, that that uh, that New Order song that they put in I the most recent song in the most recent trailer. I, I mean, far and away. The, uh, the, the trailer song we got, the garbage song in the first one, though, was very fucking moving and very good as well. I think it fit the trailer the best. But of all the songs, that I've always loved that Elegia, or however you say it. That's It's the one uh, instrumental on that New Order album that, that I've always been a really big fan of. So I was so stoked when he picked that song. First time I'd already been familiar uh, with the song by the time the trailer yeah. had come out. I mean, totally discovered the the nuclear track and that garbage track by watching the trailers. But yeah, you I know, mean, those, a... those moments, the, the songs, uh, definitely the first one, I think those stand out. I think the first trailer, like I said, might have been my favorite. But uh, yeah. the song from the third, uh, the emotion in the second, you know, Big Boss wiping the ashes on his face. Just the him turning into a demon right in front of us in the in the last or in the second trailer was super fucking cool. That guy didn't even fucking see me. What a joker! What a jorker! Yeah, I should say. When I was uh, looking at all the trailers and stuff, there was a song I found out about, and I was really surprised. I just came across it like on my own. I was just so surprised how well it would fit in a Metal Gear Solid Five trailer. What what song was that? It's uh, not very well known. It's the song Soldiers by ABBA. Yeah, I know. Seriously, okay. crazy. But What's I, wrong with that? It, Nothing wrong with a little ABBA. Jake, you listen to a little yeah. ABBA now and then? No. No? no. Jake? Hey, Jake says? Jake says no way. No way. Woo! No ABBA for him. That does sound like one of their normal but songs. But you like, hey, sure. you know what? You like ABBA? Congratulations! Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dancing Queen, no worries. Uh, yeah, if anyone looks up Soldiers, though, soldiers. Like, it's amazing how well it would go with the Metal Gear Solid 5 trailer. Okay. Like, wow. And it was made in 81, so games filled uh, with uh, 80s music. That would work. Dude. Yeah, and you know what? They've been talking a little bit more about how there's going to be songs in the game. Like, there was a lot of music and podcasts and stuff in Metal Gear 4 that you could pull up on your, uh, like, personal radio or whatever, your MP3 player, your Walkman, I guess. Now you got the same thing, you got the Walkman, and you can go around collecting tapes, like, as we saw in the last gameplay demo, that 45 minute uh, alternate walk-in for the Hero's Way mission. They're showcasing how you can collect music and play back in your Walkman. That's gonna be fucking awesome. That's I this cool. In there. That's really cool. Because, you know, <laughs> in an open world game like that, where you do so much, like, just walking around, that's a really cool feature. Stop her. Shouts out. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for calling in and sparking the conversation on the trailers. I'm going to check out that ABBA song, Soldiers. Yeah, you just check. It's amazing. Check it so, out. So, I'll talk to you more about Metal Gear some other time. Thanks for taking my call. Hell Love yeah. you, baby. Hell yeah. Would you, you got one more quick one, a lightning round Metal Gear question you want to answer? Uh, yeah. Go uh, ahead. What would you think of playing Solid Snake in Smash Bros. Brawl? I... Loved Smash Bros. Brawl specifically for Solid Snake. I mean, that was probably the first Smash Bros. game I bought, and he sold me being in it. Now, he was a little harder to control than I was used to, so I think I mained with uh, Pikachu. Yeah, but Rob I did love. Is. 
I loved yeah. all his projectiles. It's just hard to yeah. hard to do if you're not a good player. Rob the Robot's my favorite character, but Snake's my second favorite character. If he gets in the new one through like the ballot, Dude. I'll just go. That would be shout insane. out. He's on that ballot. I'm voting. Smash Bros. Better, 2016. Better be. Add Solid Please. back. Please. Yes, you can come on over to the Smash roster, folks. Thank you, Jedi Squid. 